Hello everyone and welcome back to another Adobe Illustrator tutorial. Today I'll show you how you can create this beautiful looking 3D text effect in Adobe Illustrator. So first I'll remove everything from this artboard and I'll go to layers and select our background layer. First we'll create a simple background. Select the rectangle tool, click on the artboard and choose a 1500 by 1000 pixel rectangle. Let's center this to the artboard. Go to the gradient panel and apply a default black and white gradient. Select the radial gradient, double click on black and change the color to this one. Now double click on white and change the color to this one. Let's adjust this gradient a little bit like this now go to the toolbar and select the ellipse tool draw an ellipse of 110 pixel by 110 pixel let's center this to the artboard and go to the appearance panel and change the color to this one Now duplicate this layer and select this second layer, go to effect, path and offset path and apply a 110 offset path. Click OK. Now change the color of this layer to like this. OK. Now duplicate this layer and change the color to this one. I have used the eyedropper tool to change the color. Now go to the offset path and change the offset value to 220. Again duplicate this layer and change the color of this layer to change the offset value to this one. So after doing this, go to object and click on expand appearance, then go to layers and click on this arrow to open the sub layers. And now we need a rectangle to power clip all these shapes. Let's draw a rectangle, uh, 1500 pixel by 1000 pixel. Let's center this to the artboard and select these, all these shapes and also this rectangle right click on it and click on make clipping mask now drag this layer to bottom select this rectangle and go click on opacity and change the blend mode to darker so we have our background now let's lock this layer for now select our text effect layer and now we'll create our text effect Select the text tool and click on the artboard and type your word. The font I'm using for this text effect is Anthemis and the font size 750 point. Let's center this to the artboard. Make it almost center like this. Click on none to remove the fill color, go to appearance panel and click on add new fill. Then go to the gradient panel and apply a white and black default gradient. Change the angle to 90. Double click on this black point and change the color to this one. And double click on white point and change the color to this one. Let's adjust these points. Go to the appearance panel and duplicate this layer two times. Now select the second layer and change the colors. 
double click on this right point and change the color to this double click on left point and change the color to this one go to the appearance panel select the last layer and then go to gradient panel double click on right side point and change the color to this double click on left point and change the color to this one okay now select the first layer go to effect path and offset path and apply a minus 3 pixel offset path and click ok then go to pick effect blur and gaussian blur and apply a 3 pixel gaussian blur click ok then select this last layer to and go to effect distort and transform and transform let's create a 3d effect i think 50 will be better okay after that click ok now select the second layer duplicate this and change the color to black go to effect distort and transform transform and move this layer like this click ok now drag this black layer to bottom and duplicate this select the first black and hide this for now and now select this second black and go to gradient apply a default white and black gradient change the angle to 90 double click on this black point and change the color to this double click on white and change the color to this one let's adjust these points little bit now go to appearance panel select this layer go to effect path and offset path and let's apply a 30 pixel offset path and click on joints and select the round click ok now duplicate this layer and select this last layer and go to gradient panel and change the colors double click on this right side point and change the color to this one now change this left side point color like this again go to the appearance panel and go to effect distort and transform transform click on apply new effect and apply these settings click ok now select this layer and duplicate this and change the color to anything like red or any abstract color and click on this arrow go to transform and let's move this layer around 50 pixel click ok now select this layer and drag this to bottom i think we have to change our transform values like 55 yeah this is looking good here now click ok so click on this black layer and unhide this and go to effect blur and gaussian blur apply a 8 pixel gaussian blur and change the blend mode of this layer to multiply and let's change the opacity to 80 percent okay now let's change the color of this layer to black and go to effect blur and gaussian blur and apply a 7 pixel gaussian blur click ok change the opacity to 40 percent now duplicate this layer and go to transform and apply a 60 pixel offset path change the opacity to 80 percent 
select this layer go to effect stylize and inner glow let's apply this color in inner glow change the blend mode to multiply increase the blur to 10 pixel click ok now select this layer go to effect stylize and inner glow and apply this color to an inner glow and click ok so here is our final text effect if you have learned something from this video please do like and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching